Welcome to the Westport Public Library's online tutorial downloading Adobe Digital Editions. This tutorial is for PCs and Macs. If you have an iPad, iPod, or an Android system, you are able to download the Freeding app. Before you start using Freeding to borrow some ebooks, you must register and download Adobe Digital Editions. Although you can download Adobe Digital Editions directly from within Freeding, it's easier to check your account and to start a new account by going directly to Adobe and its home page. Go to www.adobe.com and when you get to the home page, go to the upper right hand corner to the hidden sign in. Click on sign in. Now you have an option if you think you did once have an Adobe Digital Editions account, then here's where you can test it. <clears throat> Put in your Adobe ID and the password and see if you get in. If you get in here, you'll get in um, for downloading for freeding. It may be that you did start an account and you don't remember the password. In that case, put in your email and put click on did you forget your password and you can get a password um, email sent to you at your email. But if you're starting your new account, then click on create an Adobe account. Now, you'll come to an empty table that needs to be filled in email, password, all the typical things. If you're a company, then you can answer this Adobe survey. Um, you can uncheck email, mail, and telephone unless you do want them to contact you that way. And I pre-filled one in here. <clears throat> so hopefully with all of this filled in, we go to continue. And hopefully we'll get to the next step confirms thank you for becoming a member and continue now at this point there's another hidden piece because up in the right hand corner it says search you need to type into that box Adobe digital editions and it asks you or it shows you an Adobe Digital Editions download click on that <clears throat> and next steps install digital edition, edition 1.7.2 you have the install button here install install and say yes and it automatically installs on your computer you say next to all of the areas of the software it automatically comes up with a place to place it say next it downloads it, the entire package it depends on your internet speed but it doesn't take that long for it to download it's completed so you say close and you agree and now thank you for installing Adobe Digital Editions to get started click continue now DRM in here is something that you should be familiar with it's digital rights management which is what allows you to borrow a book and it's got digital rights management which means it's protected for the length of time that you borrowed it, say 14 days, and then it will no longer open. Now to activate and authorize the computer, you have to put in the same Adobe ID, the email address that you just registered with. And the same password. And now you're actually activating, authorizing this computer and finished. Once you have your Adobe Digital Editions on your computer, you will not have to add your password again. However, once you connect a device, like a Nook,
to your computer, you will have to authorize that device as well using your password and login. Hopefully this online tutorial on downloading Adobe Digital Editions has helped you. Other videos will help you understand how to use Freeding and save ebooks to your computer, the Nook, and other mobile devices.